Hello everyone, welcome to day 263 of playing Persona for Golden in real time. This series where I play the day in game on the same date in real life, one day at a time. Now, I've been doing this for the last 262 days, so if you could subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, today is December 29th, so get ready for a fast-paced, exhilarating episode of Persona for Golden in real time, and let's go ahead and see what the gang is up to today. All right, let's go ahead and get synced up, and we're done. All right, that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion of today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. So today's card is the Devil Arcana in the reverse position. So this is the Arcana represented by the nurse at the hospital, but reverse position, hopefully that's something good for us. But let's go ahead and see what fate has in store for us. The upside down meaning of the devil card can be the moment when an individual becomes self-aware and breaks all of the chains that come with addiction and poor habits. It might be because they are tired of running in circles and are in need of change. But one thing is usually clear, breaking off these chains, especially those of addiction, is never easy. So one has to be prepared to make the necessary changes that might initially seem painful to make the adjustments that will pay off in the end by being able to find your true self again. Self-assessment is called for in this case, and the individual needs to take some time and list all of the things that they need to get rid of. And once that has been done, and then it would be then it would be time for them to embark on the difficult journey of self-improvement. Okay. I mean I feel like yesterday's card was pretty grim, pretty dark, and just kind of like focused on dealing with issues from the past and stuff like that. But I think this one is a little more optimistic that I mean, a little more positive, that it sounds like things are trending upward and we can break those chains, move on from things from our past. And, you know, even if you feel like, I don't think this is just something for people that are in a difficult situation. I think anyone can benefit from this and taking time, self-assessment, analyze the process and do some introspection, see where you're at, what, what things are good, what things are bad. And I think just giving that some thought, you can pretty easily identify what things you would be better off cutting out and you know it's not it's mentions addiction that's not always the things to cut off cut out in life aren't always just things that are very clearly bad sometimes you know certain social media apps stuff like that might not might end up having more of a negative effect than positive and even if it's not something that's it's like you use it and you feel bad afterwards even if it just takes up a lot of your time more than you would plan ahead to spend on, then it might be serving you better to simply get rid of that rather than continuing to use it and dedicating that time to it. But you know, I think outside of that as well, uh, I think something that helps me, has been helpful in the past and that I should continue doing, is journaling, just kind of writing down summaries of my day, things, and like when you write out on paper, you kind of realize what the highlights were, what wasn't so great, and also the big gaps of time that kind of slipped away without re you really noticing it that if you write everything that you did down that everything down that you did that day it seems like it went by awfully quick but then you realize that you spent like three hours kind of on your phone not really being intentional with your time then i think that's for me that's been good reminders that's like okay maybe i should focus on not doing this as much and helping get more time available to do other things that are more important to me and i think Getting close to New Year's Eve and starting the new year, so I think journaling and self-improvement is definitely a good theme to carry with you into the start of the next year. And so I think you can do I think you can do some preparation now and get ready to start the new year on the right foot. But that's gonna be another car down and another day done. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey and as I do this every day. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And we'll be going back to recording the episodes live the day of, starting tomorrow. So, hope to see you then. Until then, as I said, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.